everyone, my name is Renee Walston of Wayside Notes, and I'm so glad you're joining me here today as we unbox the Young Living Essential Oils Premium Starter Kit. When your box arrives, you'll find a couple of things inside. First and foremost will be this beautiful box filled with all of your oils and other goodies. Secondly, you'll find the diffuser of your choice. And third, you will find a couple of pamphlets. You'll definitely want to take a look at these. First is the Young Living Product Guide for the current year. Included in this guide is tons of information about all of the supplements, personal care products, makeups, and oils that Young Living has to offer. Secondly, you'll find the Essential Oil Magazine. This is full of delicious recipes, tips, and tricks for getting started with your oils. Make sure you take a peek at both of them. Inside of this beautiful box, you will find all of your oils. All you need to do is slide off the top, and then pull on the ribbon to open the closure. The box is split into two levels, so make sure that you take a peek at both of them. The top level features 10 of your oils. Again, there's another ribbon enclosure that will allow you to lift the top layer out of the box. You can feel free to take these oils out of the packaging, or you can leave them in here and flip to the back where you'll find these two tabs that will allow you to stand your oils upright. Underneath your layer of oils, you will find another ribbon tab, which will allow you to pull up to reveal the second layer in your kit. There's several great things in here, so you wanna make sure you uncover this layer. First is my favorite supplement from Young Living, the Ningxia Red Drink. I find that these packets taste best when you refrigerate them, so go ahead and pop them in your fridge now and enjoy one tomorrow morning and one tomorrow night. This amazing supplement is full of antioxidants and will help with your overall immune support. Also in the bottom layer is your bonus oil, Stress Away. They include a roller fitment and cap and you can install this on the top of your Stress Away bottle as it's already pre-diluted and ready applied to your skin. To add to your bottle, simply open the top, pop off the plastic orifice reducer, and gently place the roller bottle onto the bottle with firm pressure you'll hear it click. To make sure that it's really nice and secure in place, you'll take the roller cap and screw it on so it stays on there nice and tight. Then unscrew and apply a little bit to your wrist or to the back of your neck. We call this vacation in a bottle as it smells divine. Also included in your kit are some little drams and some sample packets. This is what they look like when you take them out of the box. You can either use these to keep them in your purse so you have some oils with you on the go, or if you love your oils and wanna share with family and friends, you can pass this out to them. The best way to share it with others is to use your little dram bottles and these instruction cards that come inside of your box. When you open them up, you'll find they're full of information about the oil and how to use it. To fill the dram, simply open the top, remove the small little orifice cap, and fill with a few drops of your favorite oil. Pouring oils is easy. You'll see that there is a top on every oil lid that has a larger hole and then a well. The oil actually doesn't come out of this larger hole, it comes out of a smaller hole inside of the well. Tilt it towards you and rotate in the light until you see the little dot inside the well. And then hold perpendicular to the ground until the oil gently starts dropping out. Keep in mind that some oils will come out faster than others, so it's always better to start slowly and tip down as needed. Once you have some of your oils in this little dram bottle, you can replace the cap, insert it into this little hole in the top of the card, and then screw the top up to keep the lid and oil all in one place and ready for gifting. 
Now that we've gone over the contents of your oil box, let's take a look at the diffuser. I'll be featuring the Dew Drop diffuser in this tutorial, as it's one of our favorites in our house. This is perfect for bedrooms and bathrooms and covers just over 200 square feet of space. This diffuser comes in four different parts. First, your power cable, the top lid, the inner lid, and then the base where you'll put your water and oils. Inside of the base, you'll see a little red dot, and this is the water indicator fill line. What you wanna do is take some tap water and fill it up to the red dot. Once you have filled your diffuser base with water, you want to add the oils of your choice. When first starting out, it's important to follow the low and slow method. This means you only wanna start with a few drops of oil in your diffuser to see how your body responds. Once you get more comfortable using oils, you can feel free to add more drops. I typically recommend no more than 10 to 12 drops in this type of diffuser. For this demonstration, I'm going to feature one of my favorite oils from the kit, RC. This oil provides amazing respiratory support. To add oils into your diffuser, again, you wanna look at the top of your bottle into the well to find the little dot where the oil actually comes out. Then gently tilt your bottle so it's perpendicular to the ground and add a few drops into the water. For this tutorial, again, I'm gonna only add two or three drops to practice that low and slow method. Then you wanna take your diffuser and put it back together. So you start with the inner lid and then the outer lid. You'll see on the base of the diffuser, there's a little button to power it on. And this blue nightlight setting will come on to start. If you don't want the light setting on, you can simply press the button again to turn the light off. You'll notice that the steam still comes out of the diffuser. Within a few seconds, you should already begin to smell those oils. Now that we've gone over the contents of your premium starter kit, let's talk about a few things that are helpful to have on hand to help you start using your oils. The first thing you want to have is a carrier oil. A carrier oil is a vegetable-based oil that helps your body slow the rate at which it absorbs the essential oils into your skin. My favorite is fractionated coconut oil, and I get this directly off of Amazon. Some other options are grapeseed oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, or rosehip oil. Another thing you definitely want to have on hand are glass roller bottles. My favorite size is 10 milliliters, and I get these directly off of Amazon along with my fractionated coconut oil. It's important that you choose a bottle that has a colored glass. This prevents UV light from entering the bottle and breaking down your oils over time. You will find that your oil roller bottles come in three parts. There's the glass bottle itself, the fitment, and the lid. Again, when selecting a roller bottle, you wanna make sure that you're getting one with a stainless steel roller ball fitment. Another helpful tool that is often included with the packs of the roller bottles is this little key. This will help you to remove the fitment when it's time to refill the bottle and will also help you press it down into the bottle for a secure and leak-free fit. Now that you've snagged yourself some rollers, let's go over how to make a few that will help you make the most out of your kit oils. First, we're gonna start out by making a sleep support roller. For this recipe, you'll need to grab your stress away and your lavender. If you happen to have some cedarwood oil, you're also gonna to wanna to grab this too. Making a roller bottle is very easy. First, you wanna grab a clean, empty roller bottle, and then you wanna add your essential oils. For adults, in a 10 milliliter roller, you wanna add anywhere between 20 and 40 drops of essential oil based on the recipe. For our sleep roller, we're gonna start out with lavender and we're gonna add 15 drops into the bottle. Again, look into the well of the orifice diffuser to find the little dot where the oil comes out, hold it perpendicular to the ground and count as you drop it into the bottle. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
I'll give you a little tip here. If you're pouring the oil into the bottle and an extra drop comes out, don't panic, it's okay. Next, we're gonna add in eight drops of Stress Away. And lastly, if you really wanna amp up your sleep roller, you can add in eight drops of cedar wood. Now that we have all of our essential oils in the bottle, it's time to top it with our carrier oil. Again, my prefer preferred carrier oil is fractionated coconut oil. And all I'm gonna do is simply squirt it into the bottle. I like to fill my bottles right below the indentation line. Once your bottle is full, you're gonna to wanna to assemble the cap. You're gonna start with your roller ball and gently press down into the bottle. Once you hear it click into place, you're gonna grab your cap and screw it onto the lid to make sure everything that's nice and tight. Lastly, to label your bottle, you can use a piece of washi tape and simply write on it with a Sharpie marker. Or you can get fancy and use a vinyl label. These can be found on many different shops on Etsy or you can contact me for a direct link of where you can buy some. Next, we're gonna make an immune support roller. For this roller, we're gonna start out with your thieves oil. Then we're gonna add some purification, frankincense, and lemon. First, we're gonna put 15 drops of Thieves into the bottle. We're gonna do eight drops each of Purification and Frankincense. and then we're gonna to top this with five drops of lemon. If you happen to have oregano oil on hand, you can also add five drops of oregano to this recipe. Now that we have all of our oils in our immune roller, we're gonna to top it with carrier oil and then cap it off. Next, we're gonna make a digestive support roller. For this recipe, we're gonna be using digize and peppermint. Simply add 15 drops of each to this bottle and rub on your belly anytime you need some digestive support.
And lastly, we'll make a roller to help with occasional head tension. For this recipe, we'll be using Panaway, Copaiba, peppermint, and frankincense. You'll notice that your Panaway has a different type of a cap on it. This is a child safety lid. Panaway contains wintergreen oil, which is a natural blood thinner, so we really want to make sure that this one does not get ingested. To open, simply press down and twist off. We're going to add 10 drops of Panaway to our roller. Eight drops of Copaiba and eight drops of peppermint. And we're going to finish this recipe off with five drops of frankincense. And again, we'll top with our carrier oil and cap off our roller. Now that you've made your rollers, let's go over how to use them so you can incorporate essential oils into your everyday routine. I find it's easiest to grab a cosmetic bag such as this one that's lined with a waterproof fabric in case of any leakage. I will carry this bag around with me in my purse and also keep one in our bathrooms. For the sleep roller, you can apply this on the back of your neck, on your wrists, and over your heart at bedtime. For the immune support roller, apply this to the bottom of your feet as needed two to three times a day. For the digestive support roller, you can use this anytime you're having tummy trouble by simply rubbing around the navel. And lastly, the head tension roller can be used by applying to the temples and at the base of the neck anytime that you need a little relief. We'll be going over how to make and use rollers with children in a subsequent video, but I wanted to show you one little quick tip. When you make a roller for your child that can't read, I encourage you to include a symbol on the roller bottle. That way you know what's inside and they'll be able to identify it by the symbol. Before we close, let's go over a few safety tips and precautions for using your essential oils. You can use your oils in three different ways aromatically in your diffuser or smelling straight out of the bottle, topically with our roller bottles, or internally by taking oils either in your water or in a vegetarian capsule. You may notice that some of your oils have different labels. You will see these white labels and then solid colored labels. The white labels are from Young Living's Vitality line. This means that these oils are safe to ingest and include directions for proper internal usage. The solid colored labels give directions for topical and aromatic use. It's important to note that Orange Vitality and Regular Orange are the same oil in the bottles. They're just labeled for different types of usage. When using oils topically, it's really important that you avoid any mucous membranes, including your eyes, nose, and ears. If you do find that you accidentally get an oil into one of these areas, or your skin becomes irritated after using an oil, it's important to avoid the instinct to run for the soap and water. Instead, you wanna grab the closest carrier oil and apply it directly to the affected area. Oil and water don't mix, so always go for the carrier oil first. Lastly, when using our oils around children and pets, we wanna take some extra safety precautions. While many of our oils and products are completely safe for children, we wanna make sure that we're using them in the correct amounts. 
Therefore, please keep your oils out of the reach of tiny little hands and only use them with direct supervision. When it comes to pets, you always want to make sure that your animal has an escape route when you're diffusing in your home. For example, if you're using your diffuser in your bedroom, make sure that you leave the door cracked. If your pet is being bothered by the smell of the diffuser, they will have a way to get up and leave the room. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly. In addition, if you'd like a premium starter kit of your own, or if you would like any more information on the products in this video, make sure to check out the description for all the appropriate links. Thank you so much and have a great day.